Okay, so for thousands of years, mankind has understood the healing powers of the sun. And today, we understand how vitamin D from sunlight, the sunshine vitamin, has unimaginable power that impacts more than 100 diseases, including more than 30 types of cancer. So, but wait a second. How is it possible that some people say sunlight has no value to human life? How can a recent report suggest that sun exposure is as deadly as arsenic and mustard gas? I mean, really, how could they be so wrong about one of the key elements of all life on this planet? What could possibly explain what we're hearing from dermatologists and the media? The answer is money. The sun scare industry is a powerful group that makes billions of dollars from our fear of the sun. It began when the sunscreen industry figured out how to profit by convincing us that there was an epidemic of skin cancer and we would die without buying their products. So they paid dermatology groups millions of dollars to create studies and preach about the hazards of sunlight. Their campaign has been so successful that they now spend $1 billion a year in national advertising just to promote this distorted message. But guess what? The dermatology industry found out that the skin cancer epidemic plan helped them profit in other ways, too. Yeah, by teaching us that any mole or freckle on our bodies could be deadly, their businesses grew more than 300%. In fact, some dermatologists have been sent to prison for cutting off healthy pieces of our skin and calling them skin cancer just to collect insurance money. Yeah, it's definitely gone too far. Really, I mean, how else could you explain this? The United States has less than 5% of the world's population, okay? Yet, the sun scare industry claims that we have more than 50% of the world's melanomas. That's impossible, right? And if you still don't think they're lying for money, listen to this. The president of the American Academy of Dermatology once said that she sees us moving to underground living due to the hazards of sunlight. Right. Oh, yeah, and she also predicted that skin cancer will be the leading cause of cancer deaths by 2012. Uh, yeah, not even close. Okay, but here's the sad truth. Sunscreen doesn't even prevent melanoma. It never did. And the tiny bit of sunscreen chemicals that wash off of us while we're swimming? Well, they've been shown to kill coral reefs and change the gender in fish. But wait, it gets worse. One government study showed that 97% of us now have the toxic sunscreen ingredient oxybenzone in our bodies. That's scary, isn't it? And the dermatology industry? Well, they recommend that we put these chemicals on our children every day of their lives from the age of six months, even if the sun isn't shining, even if it's winter, even if we're indoors. Hello? That's ridiculous. Seriously? That's disgusting. Let's look at this another way. Sunscreen is a chemical product that serves a useful purpose, preventing sunburn, right? It's kind of like, well, it's kind of like cough medicine, which helps ease the symptoms of a cold. So, but what if your pediatrician recommended that you give your child cough medicine every day, even if it's summer, uh, even if they don't have a cold? Would you really continue to see that pediatrician? No way. And now the scary part. The sun scare message has created a real epidemic of vitamin D deficiency, an epidemic that's been linked directly to 105 diseases and more than 30 different kinds of cancer. Vitamin D experts believe that proper blood levels of vitamin D could reduce many cancers by as much as 70%, heart disease by 50%, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, children's autism, and many more. And guess what else? Vitamin D experts believe that having proper blood levels of vitamin D could prevent more than 300,000 deaths a year. Yeah, that's why they call it the miracle vitamin. Okay, so what should you do? Well, first, always remember when you hear someone bashing the sun, they're probably on the sun scare payroll. Also, only wear sunscreen when there's a possibility that you might sunburn. Otherwise, you're preventing the vitamin D production that your body needs from natural, unprotected sunlight. And finally, use common sense and don't be fooled. Again, 
When anyone, regardless of their profession, tells you that nature is wrong and one of the key elements of life on this planet is deadly, tell them you're smarter than that. Discover more truth about sunlight at sunlightinstitute.org.